Welcome to the Madhouse! <laughs> sometimes what is going on ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the mindless horror podcast episode 55 yes ladies and gentlemen children of all ages we are back this is an episode that sam's gonna be hosting and i'm gonna be co-hosting yes it'll be a great time what, 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 what number are we on again i forgot what number 55 55 that's two fives almost that's a 60. 11 times five Yep, almost to 60. Almost to 60. Wow, it just feels like we were at almost. 50. So we're halfway there, huh? Our energy is low. I mean, your energy is low. I'm pretty hyped. You're lying. You're putting on a mask. Hey. You can take off the mask. It's okay. People Fake know. it till you make it, People know what we've been doing. What have we been doing, Tony? Thursday, we went to Not Scary Farm opening night. Okay. And Friday, we went to Not Scary Farm with Celine and uh, your mommy. Me, mother. And uh, your rest of your family and friends. And friends. And then Saturday we went to Halloween Horror Nights with the Knights of Horror crew. Yeah, squad goals. Yep. We had Robert, Robert's uh, wife, Miranda. You were there. I was, I was there. Uh, Tammy was there. And Ashley was there. Yes. And we saw Will. Will, I am. We saw Alonzo Ball. And La Angela Ball. La Angela Ball. Don't know who they are. They're basket. I know they're basketball players. Yes, I mean I know who they are. I know it's who. Like sports. I know who they. I know they played for the Lakers, or he played for the Lakers. Yeah, the other one didn't get drafted. And then okay. I think he was at UCLA or US USC. They or? went to UCLA. Yeah. So that, big that, baller brand, bro. That's all I know. It's okay. Um. And yeah, that's not your specialty. That's not what our channel's about. It's not. If it was, then you'd be screwed. We'd do it as a sports channel. Then I would be the one that has the knowledge, and you would Just be the co-host, pretty much, yeah. Yeah, but it's okay, because we are a whore channel. We are a whore channel. We cover channel. all things whore. So um, today on the podcast, what are we talking about? Today on the podcast, what are we going to talk about? Well, let's see. we got a few different things. Uh, we have Rob Zombie. Three from Hell. Three from Hell. We have AMC Fear Fest. The Borderlands Steve 3. Got that Stephen King uh, 13 movies contest yes we have midsummer nice a- and we have tunes of terror tunes of terror where do you right. want to begin i'm gonna let you go ahead all right well it. i have tunes of terror open on my tunes laptop. of terror so uh yeah I'll oh they can't even see my lap i mean i don't know if they can it doesn't matter it doesn't matter tunes of terror so we'll start there uh, i know that you had a special opportunity yeah so tunes of terror is going to be happening in santa Ana. yeah I, october 15th at the frida Cinema. yeah but who did you get to talk to Got to talk to John Mazzari, um, and he's going to be opening the show via yes. Skype. Yeah. And we got to talk to him a little bit about it, and this is what he had to say. Yeah, roll the clip. You're going to be doing a special guest appearance at the, uh, I believe it's called the the, the Tunes of Terror yeah. concert. And uh, you're going to be doing a special guest appearance. Can you talk to us a little bit about okay. what you'll be doing? Tunes of Terror, if I'm not mistaken, that's going to be at the Frida Theater sometime in uh, October. And that is uh, Cody Chavez with Nostalgic Nebula. That's his, like, um, no, that's his organization where he does, like, musical events and movie events. Yeah. And uh, I just love the, the Frida, Frida Theater is, like, your quintessential neighborhood theater that show, that sh- exhibited great movies that people just love coming to. They have a really loyal um um, audience that attends there and I've been to three events there uh, and one with Christopher Young mm-hmm. and um, where they did um, uh, two the first two um, of his movies Hellraisers his Hellraiser yeah. movies so um, so I would say check out the Frida Theater and Nostalgic Nebula they're on Instagram and, and Facebook and what have you they have really great programs I'm looking forward to it. Uh, it's in Santa Ana, the heart of Orange County. There it is. Not too far from Disneyland. Uh, yeah, no, the, the Tunes of Terror sounds amazing. Just a live orchestra of some of the greatest, uh, hopefully, horror movie. Well, it's going to be a string quartet. Okay. So it's kind of intimate. Yeah. You know, so, um, and uh, there's his friend uh, Flora Chang. She usually conducts 
and sometimes she orchestrates it. But if, but Cody does all the arrangements himself, and he does it by ear. Wow. He doesn't like. I asked him for Killgrounds. Do you want the Do you want the manuscript? No, no. I just want to listen to it and kind of create something that's that's from me. I go. That's perfect. That sounds like a great idea. Definitely. That's what I would do. So we're very much looking forward to that, John. Like always, it is a pleasure to be talking with I'm you. I'm glad to be hanging with all these Pleasure people. with my Knights of Horror crew and the friend of the channel, Fossil Pebbles. Yeah. Go see his channel. Go subscribe. Show some Johnson support as well on social media, his YouTube channel. Listen to his music on Spotify, anywhere music's really streamed. Watch I listen Killer to it. Clowns. Watch Killer Clowns. I listen to it on Spotify all the time at work. Oh, good. I yeah. listen on the train. Like, I'm just You're like... the guy that's making, bringing me <laughs> the four cents. I got it. At least it's something, you know? So, uh, John, again. Oh, I, I can... Never mind. I'll tell you something when the camera turns <laughs> okay. off. Uh, thank you so much again, John. Um, I did, taking out time out of your day to come down and meet with us again. That that was very awesome of you, and we appreciate that. Um, like I said, go support John for everything he does. Thanks a lot. And wow, that yeah. was such a great clip. Definitely, yeah. We got to sit way, down. Way to get really good insight on that. Got to sit down with him after uh, Horror Nights and talk to him a little bit about the uh, what he's going to be doing, what he's moderating. Um, he'll be there for the opening. He said they're going to be doing some, like he said, kill, some killer clowns and some yeah. other famous horror songs, music. Yeah. Um, and it's going to be at the Frida Cinema. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll have the link in the description. Yep. Uh, it's going to be 20 bucks the at day the day of. of. $15, $15 before. There is a little of fee. But, like um, $2. But uh, yeah. Just so you cheaper. are be aware. And there will be a parking fee, but it'll be October the 15th at 8 p.m. It'll be about an hour and a half long, so it'll be a good time. String quartet, so that'll be four people. And oh, that's, uh, only four be pe that's only four people? Yeah. Wow. So it'll be four strings. That's awesome. So that'll probably be a violin, a viola, a cello, and a double bass. That's pretty cool. Yeah. And they'll be playing some horn music, and that's great. Because including killer clowns including from outer space. Including killer clowns from outer Score. space. Yeah, so that'll be a great way to be like... 16 days before Halloween, celebrating up. Definitely. It's always I mean, a horse season is Horse season starts in like August, dude. Yeah, but it's a great way. And it is really cool because we love to support musicians as a musician myself at one point in my life. I just like going to concerts and listening to music. So, yeah. Um, That's and me. it'll be fun. So, look for us there. Uh, next up, uh, Fear Fest AMC it will be coming back for its. 23rd consecutive year. Yeah, they do this every year, and it's something to, it's something good to watch if you're a horror fanatic like uh, at least me and I think Sammy. Sometimes. Um, but basically, uh, AMC Fear Fest is, uh, they do 31 days of Halloween, I believe, right? Uh, it's not 31 days. They're not oh, starting. 19 they're, days. Yeah, they're, they're doing 19 days. So, yeah, they do. They but do. for, it, it is technically 31, because October 1st, it'll be available on their website and oh. on their app. So yeah, you there can start have 104 films. You can you can start watching if you want on their yeah. apps, but basically on their on their network, if you want to wait till the 19 days leading up to Halloween, um, yeah. they, they 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 do horror movies all the time. Uh, Walking Dead's on Sundays. Yeah. Well, they'll probably do zombie movies, but they, he's got a list of the movies. It looks like. Yeah, so we have ahead. I have the list, and we'll put that in the link below. Uh, but you're looking at everything: Alien, Final Destination, a bunch of the Friday the Thirteenth, like Halloween, uh, Pet Cemetery. You probably name it, and if it's a good horror movie, it's probably on there. Yeah, they usually don't disappoint with this. Yeah. I, I I know that some of the movies are going to have edits to them and um, yeah, it's things like that, but if you are an AMC Premium subscriber, they will be offering some of the movies fully unedited theatrical versions. Um, and there's a list of those titles as well on the link. Um, you can watch you know, one of my favorite Halloween movies, H2O. Is it really? Yeah. I don't know why. I mean, I like the original, <laughs> and I like the remake of 2018, but I don't know why I like H2O. I don't know what it is. I don't know why either. <laughs> <laughs> There's something. I think it's because I watched. That's one of the first Halloween movies I watched. They got Hellboy too. Hellboy is yeah, pretty Hellboy, good. Yeah, Hellboy. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. Oh, Tony's here looking at the list. They the 1990s Night of the Living Dead. Stand. Stand by me. Stand by me. Yeah, but that's not is that really considered a horror movie? Yeah, I mean it's based upon the Stephen King book. Yeah, but it's not really scary. I mean, I guess. I don't know. I mean, I know the the original book's called The Body, but yeah. I don't think it's scary. I don't know, but people like it, so The Shining, I see that. Yeah, Silver shout Bullet. Out to, yeah, shout out for Tammy, Thirteen Ghosts will be on there. Thirteen Ghosts, Spawn, yeah. Slither, Tales from the Crypt. Nineteen seventy two. And the two of the remakes, Bordello of Blood and Demon Knight. 
No, those aren't remakes. Those are just continuations. Continuations, whatever. Sequels. Sequels. And the Creep Show. 1976 Carrie. Creep Show, if you haven't watched that. Creep Show. Um, also, you know, that'll be coming up on Shutter pretty soon, the remake. I think this week. I don't know when it is. I forgot off the top of I think of it's my this head. week, the 28th. But yeah, so check out that link in the description below for AMC Fear Fest. Looks pretty good. 104 different films. I'm over here looking at the list. It looks really good. Yeah, it's uh, eight legged freaks. Yeah, Damien I mean, really, Owen. They got everything. Cujo. Chucky, Cujo. What? That's uh, another that's Stephen King. That's one about the dog. Yeah. Stephen King. Yeah. Candyman. The Cabin King. in the Woods. That's a classic, cult classic right there. Yeah. AVP. That's actually, you know what? That's one of the few horror movies I saw in theaters prior to like Annabelle. Yeah. Cabin in the Woods is good. Uh, good. yeah, that that looks like a solid lineup, and yeah. I can't wait for that. Speaking of horror movies, we see it in theaters. And something we cannot escape this summer, midsummer. Midsummer, but this one was, and this, this one, one's better. This one is something I was telling you about walking into this movie. Yeah. It's because of Hereditary. Yeah. Um, the director, uh, oh, is his name Ari S. Aster? Uh, sure, I'll go with that. Yeah, Ari so. Aster. Yeah. Ari Aster. Yeah, he's known for putting a lot of symbolic stuff in his movies for like background stuff and and you know much much to that. And uh, he did not disappoint in this one. It's barely coming around now, but uh, there's a lot of hidden stuff in Midsummer from yeah. faces in the background to like, it's supposed to be stuff that's haunting uh, the main character's like kind of yeah. way of her sister dying. Uh, one of the most notable ones, the picture that you might be seeing going around a lot is, of course, the sister in the bushes, her face, and then you see the tube coming out of her mouth yeah. as they're walking in, um, and they circled it and stuff. So that's that's one that's going around. But there's a couple yeah. other ones that we found. Yeah, they got the face on the rock for when the falling scene when they're jumping off that. Yeah, you have in the beginning um, with the welling singing close up of the forest. There's a face in there. You also have um, in the first act of the movie anytime. That Danny and Christian are on the couch. Um, there's like a face in there as well in the snow. A creepy uh, demonic yeah. face. Yeah. Creepy demonic face. Iconic. Um, but if you're watching this podcast, it is already available midsummer um, for digital and on demand. Um, began September on September 24th. 24th. That It'll is be coming out to Blu ray on October 8th. When is the 24th? The 24th would have Tuesday. Been Tuesday, yeah. So yesterday. Yeah. Yesterday. All right. So, so yeah. Uh, watch it on there. Watch it. Don't watch it. I don't care. Yeah. Do what you got to do. I mean, we probably I, – I might watch it now just because of the – I do want to see the director's cut. I did not want to go to the theaters to watch the yeah. director's cut. I feel like I'm down to watch it again, but, like, I have to not watch it at 1030 at night Cause you get on scared? a Friday night. Because you get scared? No, not because I get scared. Oh, cause because that's when we watched sleep. it last time, and I was, like um, – I was exhausted. I think, too, it. just because this time around I'll look around for yeah. the faces and stuff. Yeah. So something good to look out And for. I'll have to know that it's going to be slow. I thought it was going to be a lot quicker. Well, I mean, you know what's going to happen now. You I know mean, I know it's going to happen, happen but, but it's okay. I, but I, I'm calling it right now. He'll still fall asleep. I probably will. It's a, <laughs> not my favorite horror movie. <laughs> but um, speaking of something I do like. Um, and Borderlands 3. Three. Halloween-themed Blood Harvest is coming so, next month. Yeah. So Borderlands is famous for doing a lot of uh, themed, uh, holiday-themed, just a lot of little DLC-themed stuff uh, for their... Uh, their haunts, or for their, uh, for their, not the haunts. I'm at haunt season brain right now. For their game. Yeah. And Borderlands 3 just launched uh, September 13th. I've yet to play it and I really want to. Same. I want to um, buy it, but money. Yeah. But yeah, they're going to be having a uh, Bloody Harvest um, Halloween event, which uh, they've pulled up an image. You can actually go watch the YouTube video if you want to more, know more information about it. It's called uh, The Borderlands Show, I think it's called. Um, and it's on it's on YouTube. I've never I'm, I don't know anything about it. Go down a little bit. I think in that link they'll, they'll they have it right there. What oh is yeah, it oh, right here. The yeah. Borderlands show. show. It's yeah. on it's on YouTube. Yeah. Uh, but the people from Gearbox sit down and talk about what's coming into the game or patch updates or just like secrets you can find in the game. Um, I might start watching it once I start playing Borderlands Three just so I can yeah. get a little insight. Like I when I when Borderlands Two was like in its heyday, I I played the shit of that every weekend. I would get the shift code keys so I can unlock the secret chest in order to get like exclusive weapons. Oh, wow. Um. They, they they release shift code codes like every week, uh, stuff like this, which uh, like that's this, the monster that you'll be fighting. This on, this on Halloween Harvest. event, yeah, they, that they do. Um, it's gonna be they'll probably drop exclusive loot, or you'll get exclusive loot for your character, like yeah. armor and stuff like that. So uh, that'd be definitely something that I'd be interested in getting because yeah. it's once it's uh, once it's gone, it's gone. Uh yeah. So it'll be a, a fun time. So it's, yeah, it's looking like it's gonna be. Uh, 
like, a little new adventure after you beat the yeah. game. It's uh, that you're fighting this new boss, and they usually yeah. do that with these kind of DLCs. Yeah. I don't know if it's going to be free or if you have to pay for it, but I'm assuming it, since it's an event, I think it might be free. Uh, yeah, I think it's going to be free. But you do have to meet some of the requirements of getting out of Pandora. I think that's what it's Pandora called. Pandora 3, I believe it's yeah. called, yeah. I, I think pretty much the requirements are you have to have the game beat. Yeah, so which, that way you're not... Yeah, because I think it, weak. the boss will be a certain level. Yeah, the boss will be um, difficult. I mean, me, I always play through. I try to play through all the playthroughs because there's, I think, usually like three playthroughs. It's like beginner, and then as you go on each playthrough, you get stronger weapons. And stuff, oh, really? So, yeah. And the I loot, didn't know that. And the loot gets better. I was doing that with Borderlands 2 for like the longest. Uh, I'm, I'm currently playing Borderlands 2. Yeah. But it's available on Game Pass. Game Pass. And uh, We're not sponsored by that, but it and came uh, a few of Xbox. The pre-sequel as well. Yeah. Which is known actually both as the Handsome Collection. Yes. Um, I haven't played the pre-sequel yet. I'm still playing Borderlands 2. I played a little bit of Borderlands 1, and I enjoyed it, but I would never bought it. I want to buy, actually, Borderlands 1 Remastered. Yeah. And I'll play the shit out of that. Oh, yeah. It's fun. Um, and so it's super exciting when... When you get Borderlands, let's get Borderlands 3, and we'll start a playthrough on that. Yeah, well, it's going to be a little while before I do that. Or I could just get it, and we can do it on the channel, live yeah. stream it. Yeah, definitely. Um, but we'll figure that out. Borderlands 3, you know, it's always fun when video games and, you know, something we both enjoy incorporate a little bit of Halloween in them and definitely you know make things a little bit different you know what I mean and definitely uh, offer special things um especially uh, speaking of special things something here, I did sign up for yes and we you guys still have the opportunity to sign up for don't do it though because the Knights of War yeah. wants it yeah until October 15th is Dish Network is offering to pay someone $1,300 to watch 13 Stephen King movies before Halloween dude that's a weekend for me uh, I think it might take a little bit longer than a weekend. Dude, 13 movies in a weekend? I can do it if I start Friday night and end on Sunday night? No problem. Yeah, I don't know. I think they I think they are going to be very specific on how they want you to watch them. They just said do it before Halloween. Yeah. I and, mean, if they're choosing a, and if they're choosing a winner before October 22nd, yeah. I think they just want you to complete it before Halloween or you don't get the money. Yeah. So $1,300, watch 13 Stephen King movies before Halloween comes to one. Um, and in this, you're going to have to do certain things like track your heart rate. Yeah, they're going to they're gonna, they're gonna hook you up they'll with they'll the they'll free, f a free Fitbit. Yeah, they'll hook you up with the free Fitbit. Um, and they're going to want to, you know, especially while you're doing it, you're going to want to log different things and how you're watching it. They're also going to hook you up with the survival kit. Um, in that kit, you're going to get a flashlight, a blanket, popcorn, candy, and um, some Stephen King merch um, to help you for the year. "Quote unquote terrifying experience," so and hang on the set. Merch to hang on the set. Merch to hang on the set, of course, and and also you will get a movie theater gift card to watch either it chapter two, picnic still in theaters, or what Tony's probably more excited for, which I'll probably use it for if he wins. Hopefully, he wins. Doctor Sleep. I use it for Doctor Sleep because I've already yeah. seen it. <laughs> yeah, we've already seen that. But yes. Um, I'll run through the movies real quick. Uh, Carrie, which you could either watch the original, 1976, or the remake that I'll came watch, out. I'll watch the original. I've 2013. Never, I haven't seen it like fully. Yeah. Children of the Corn. Never seen it. Never seen that one, but I heard that one's pretty terrifying. Oh, I can't wait. Christine, about the car. Never right. seen that either. Creep Show, which we've watched we've already. Watched. Uh, Cujo. Seen bits. I've seen a little bit of that one. Dreamcatcher. Never seen. It, which you can choose either chapter one or the original. I probably I've seen both, but I'd probably go with the chapter one only because it's a lot shorter than the original. Yeah, um, the mist. I've seen it. Pit Cemetery original or in 2019. I would watch the original because never seen the original. Yeah, we never saw the original. Salem's Lot, which I have no idea what that's. Never about. seen, but I, I've heard a lot about it. The Shining. Of course, I know. Thinner, never seen, N and misery, misery. I've seen clips, but it looks yeah. sounds like it looks cringy, so I can't wait to watch it. Yeah, so you t you have if you do want to enter, all the way through uh, October Tuesday, 15th. October fifteenth, five p.m. Mountain Standard Stand Time. Yeah, Mountain Standard Time, which is a very <laughs> interesting cut time, right? So not Pacific, not Eastern, Mountain, mountain Standard. Standard. So yeah, I've already signed up for it, and I'm hoping I get chosen. I really uh, hope so. Dish Network, if you're watching, here's my video submission to you guys. Uh, I didn't attach one to my app, but. Uh, if you guys are watching this, yeah, we are the Knights of Horror. We cover all things horror on this. And there's a lot of those movies I have not seen, so the Fitbit thing might work for me as well. Um, and I and I really would like to do it. Um, uh, I want to see his log to actually see if he gets scared in a movie. And on, on top of that, I mean, I, this guy would probably sit next to me watching these movies. So And I'll be scared. 
yeah so it'd be it would be yeah. f- it'd be a fun time so and, and if you guys even wanted I, I would live stream it just for content for the channel so if you guys want to see what we're up to yeah uh how, where we're at in the thing or mm-hmm. what's going yeah. on That'd uh, be fun. we'll see what happens um and speaking of movies one i've seen one you have seen posters right up there uh yes poster is now on the set and something you're very excited for um or we're very excited for um is rob zombies three from hell uh, which was in theaters for three days exclusively. Yeah, this last but, weekend. Yeah, last week. But now we'll be having a fourth day added on October 14th. Yes. Um, Tickets go on sale, I think, the 24th. I, I don't know. I, I'd have to look. Um, but it did. It did. Well, those Over those three showings, it did make just under 2 million, 1.2. The film drew 122,000 attendees. Which is not, not bad. Not bad. For a three day um, showing, yeah. Yeah. Um,. It, it's a Monday night. Yeah. Um. So you just tickets go on sale. Um. The twenty third. The twenty third. So if you guys want to go see Three from Hell and you guys missed it, um, definitely yeah. check it out. Uh, especially since I heard the story of what happened with that movie, as far as the week of shooting. Um, yeah. You know, Sid Haig, uh, veteran to Rob Zombie, just in general of the of the movies and stuff. Uh, he was n- most notably his role as Captain Spaulding and uh, he was supposed to be one of the three from hell the three from hell uh, you know is the devil's rejects and um, he got really sick I, I believe like a couple months prior to that and they went to go visit him in the hospital and you know they, they the doctors told him like he can't he can't act he, yeah. he you know he's he's weak in his condition and he can't do it so Rob Zombie had to start cutting the script and rewriting it to like put less of sit out yeah and eventually it came down to the point where rob zombie had to rewrite the entire script to include a new character which we see in the movie yeah. uh, which is the third uh person from hell which is i'm not gonna give any spoilers because you know they explain who he is in the movie but uh he's the third member from i guess the firefly family in a way yeah but, um yeah he uh he's the third member but they did include sid Haig. they got to film with him for at least one day he's got a scene in there and um it, it was it was just kind of sad to find out that Sig was Sid getting old and yeah. getting sick. So, uh, but it was nonetheless it was a very good movie and yeah I I really enjoyed it. I I think I still think Devil's Rejects is the best out of the trilogy. I I agree. I haven't seen Three from Hell yet, but Devil's Rejects is so awesome. Yeah, I love it because of its ending. The Free Bird, yeah. Yeah, awesome. but if you do not get to go see the the, ex- the exclusive fourth night provided by Fathom Events, it will be coming out on DVD October fifteenth. Actually, a good way to promote the movie being it's going to be coming out the next day after that yeah. screening. Yeah, so, so um, you can go get that if, October fifteenth if they announce like, oh, we're giving away a Blu-ray as you walk out of the theater. I'm buying tickets. Oh, of course. That's a that's a must for yeah, me. Yeah, because I mean the tickets what like eighteen bucks on a Blu-rays. Yeah, so significantly it's like, more. It's awesome, but um, yeah, man, that's uh, that's that's, that's awesome. I can't. Yeah. I, I, I'm so glad for that movie. It made a little bit under two million and it had a three million dollar budget. So, mm-hmm. hoping it kind of hopefully it hopefully it breaks even. Yeah. Um, but that's all the news we have for today. Uh, Tony, how are you feeling right now during this Han season? Tired. <laughs> Tired. <laughs> no, we're doing a lot of editing. We're doing a lot of uh, a lot of good stuff coming your guys' way. We got some good news coming to the channel this week. Yes. Um, Stay tuned one, for that. one thing I can announce is uh, we got invited to the Bloodshed Brothers media event. Yeah. So uh, me and Robert are going to head out there October 2nd. Uh, it's all the way out in Paris, so it's going to be kind of a drive. But, yeah, it's going to be a bit um, of a drive. Unfortunately, I don't get to go. Yeah, really Sammy sad. can't go because of due to work. But uh, me, and, me and Robert are going to head out there right yeah. after work and uh, cover the event. Uh, and we got some big news for this week, too. So yeah, stay tuned stay for tuned. that. Uh, we got a lot of events coming up this weekend, though. Uh, with Friday going to be hopefully not Scary Farm. If it rains, Sammy won't be there. Really, the big issue is I have work on Saturday. Yeah. Um, and so depending on how I feel, really, it's going to be that. Because also Saturday, we have a long day with LA Haunted Hayride. LA Haunted Hayride. And then Sunday, uh, Tammy and I will be at the Queen Mary yeah. Dark Harbor. Dark Harbor. And it's another weekend of stuff. <laughs> yeah. Hot season's around, and we're busy, like, every weekend. Yeah, definitely. But, you know, we're doing our best. Uh, please, 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 please watch our videos. Yeah, we like put them. up uh, walkthroughs. We got the Knots walkthroughs up. Vlogs are up. Um, we just put up our HHN vlog up on Sunday. Yesterday, we had our history of L.A. Haunted Hayride. Yeah. Monday was the history of the Queen Mary. Now, tomorrow, we're going to continue more of that coverage. We got the... 
uh, most anticipated mazes for Queen Mary and, uh, and most anticipated like mazes for Haunted Hayride. Yeah, and then we got a uh, Saturday. We got something big for you. We guys. Got a secret video coming out. I, we've already announced the secret video. Uh, we haven't announced what it is. We just announced the secret video. So yeah, it's part of the surprise of this week. So yeah, definitely stay tuned for that. Um, but thank you, thank you guys for watching another episode, number fifty-five. Fifty-five. Thank you for all six hundred and fifteen some odd yeah. subscribers. We love you all. Love you guys all. Yeah, we do this for you guys. If you guys want to see any content, you guys want us to cover any news, let us know, and we're happy to to bring it on. Definitely, we're. Uh, it's been. It's been. We're real. still. We're dead, but we're still working. Hey, the grind doesn't stop. The grind doesn't stop. We'll yeah. see you guys uh, at the events. We'll see you guys next week. See you in the fog. Also, one last thing. Oh, wait. What? We got business cards now. Oh, yes. We do have business cards. So if you guys see us in any of the haunts, come up to us. Either say hi or if you guys follow us on social media, we'll throw out a password. Yeah. Give us the password and we will give you guys a business card. Definitely. Simple as that. Simple as that. I mean, we just really want you guys to be able to see the cool artwork that we got. Yeah. Shout out to Juan from the Linwood UPS store yeah, for making those dope business cards. He made us two designs, and the one that we have right now is really cool, but we're going to come up with the other one pretty soon. So. Yeah, so a lot of fun. A lot of fun. So thank you guys for watching this video, and we will see you guys in manana. Bye.